How's it going, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the channel. This is your boy Mars. Today, we are going to tune my favorite all-time vehicle here in the background. We got the GT Black Series. This thing is incredible to look at. The design on it is crazy aggressive. Love everything about it, honestly. And I'm going to show you guys a full tune and build for it. So like always, everybody new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and uh, let's get right to it. As you guys see, we got the uh, 21 Mercedes-Benz or Mercedes-AMG line GT Black Series. Let's go over here to the upgrades, custom upgrades. I'm going to show you guys how to launch it, build it, all that good stuff. Um, so let's go over here to the conversion. You can actually put, I think this is like a Bugani or Zonda or something like that engine into it. Um, Honestly, it doesn't even get more horsepower than the original engine. So we're just going to stick with the original engine. No need to V12 it. Um, as you can see, 1,209 horsepower with 942 foot-pounds of torque. Weighs 3,000 pounds, as it should for a modern vehicle. Normally, they weigh about 3,000 pounds. And just take a look at this thing. If you guys have not gotten this car, you guys got to do about 20 points to get this vehicle in the festival you gotta do a, a couple races and stuff like that get about 20 points you gotta unlock this vehicle honestly i want to probably snipe about like three or four of them uh to be honest in the auction house there but overall for the people that don't know much about me i actually work at a mercedes dealership so just imagine how much i really appreciate this vehicle i really would love to drive it in real life I've driven everything from the GTRs, I've driven the GTCs, GTS, GTs, I've driven uh, SLS, I've driven I've driven so many cars, S65, 63s, SLs, you name it, I've driven it. And uh, for the people that don't follow me on Instagram, please follow me on Instagram as Mars.Tuning. I do post like uh, stuff I do um, in real life, so uh, follow me on there. But yeah, guys, just take a look at this. The orange is incredible. Love the carbon fiber on the hood there with the roof. With the Look at the spoiler wing on this thing. It's just insane. I would love to drive this thing in real life. Because I drove the original ones, the regular GTs, two doors. And uh, the handling is out of this world. Honestly, love the comfort feel that you can switch over from a comfort to a full-blown race car. It's incredible, really nice. Um, now these things are going for probably, I think, over half a million dollars for these things. And they are pretty, pretty, pretty neat. Um, if you guys haven't seen the one in Nurburgring, um, this thing was just incredible. So yeah, let me start talking about this car. Let's go right over here to the upgrade guy. Let's go here and uh, let's put all these parts on here. Race, so very easy and simple. Uh, one of the things I was messing around was with tire width. I don't think I have to go really all that wide with the tire width because um, the tires are already super wide and I think it will still perform pretty good. So we got the anti lag, anti lag on there. Sounds pretty, pretty cool there with the anti lag. A little bit quieter with the vehicle. Normally it kind of is quieter. Uh, it's not really like that. Uh, in person though you do hear the pops and everything um, it does sound really nice in person with the exhaust in here they kind of made it a little bit quieter but that's how it should be I mean with the any lag it kind of you know sounds a little bit different than what it should um, but it I honestly pretty good pretty good they nailed it pretty good there let's go right over here we are going to use the rally on this suspension <laughs> keep revving it no roll cage, no need for that, and we're going to fully weight reduct it, so that's how we're going to get to that 3,000 pounds. Uh, we got 1,200 on that horsepower, really nice, really, really like that. Um, let's go over here to the um, transmission. We're going to put the race on the transmission and then also race on the diff there. So that is it with that. On the tires, of course, the drag tires, make sure to put these, do not put the semi-slicks these are the perfect drag tires to put no width in the front we still got 285s in the front and then we went full width in the rear just to play play it safe but uh, I would like you guys to probably play with the 335s in the rear I think it might perform a little bit better to be honest but yes 365s in the rear to go safe 
And let's go right over here. I did find some pretty lightweight wheels that look really good. These Advent ones, when you uh, painted these matte black, and they look really, really good. Um, for the people that don't know, I got the calipers there on the, the uh, as you can see, looking really good there with the uh, the brakes and everything. Just looks pretty good. Nice little color combination with the orange, the stitching in the inside. Man, it's, I just keep looking at this car. It looks so, so, so nice. So, yeah, put those wheels on there. And let's go over here with the size of the wheels. 19s in the front. We got 20s in the rear. No need for that. If you guys want to do the spacers there, put the spacers on there. Make it look a little bit more aggressive. Uh, but as you guys see, no need to go bigger on the wheels at all. Um, yeah, you go to the 21s. No, no need for it. And uh, you don't have to put the spacers at all. But if you guys want to just to make the car look a little bit more aggressive there to the fender, a little bit flush with the wheels, you guys can. So that is it with the build. Let's go right over here to the uh, tune. And we got 30 in the front, 15 in the rear. The car is doing a 1.300, 0 to 60. That is, wow. <laughs> that is fast. That is fast. That number there is, is uh, it's a pretty good number. Uh, and then we got a 2.70 to 100 traps around 256 257 around there top speed here goes the gearing guys got that final drive at 220 first gear is 365 second gear is 255 then we got 190 145 and finishing off in fifth gear at 110 so that is it with that let's go over here zero everything out and seven then we got 65, 65 of these anti-roll bars. Just made them stiff just so that they can hold, you know, the launches and all that good stuff. And then we, I made it soft with the suspension. Uh, kind of figured this vehicle with the downforce and everything would just rather go soft. So I did soft all the way front and rear. And then I raised it front and, front and the back there. Uh, besides that, we got 1991. A nice equal distribution with the rebound and buff stiffness. Uh, all the arrow towards the speed make sure to put all the arrow towards the speed so like that you guys can get top in if not Then the car will start slowing you down towards top in which you don't want that especially on the drag race uh, Zero everything out there, and then we got 100 and 100 so that is it Let's take this thing out for a nice little drive here and uh, Yeah Alrighty, we are here in the real cool looking mansion. Hopefully the weather is good. And the weather is good and shiny. This house kind of matches a good good scenery for this car here. Uh, let's take a look at the inside guys. As you can see, we got the nice cluster there. You can actually change different uh, functions on there. Got the uh, touchscreen screen there. Got the uh, Traction controls, the buttons, and all the good stuff just looks. The stitching is incredible looking in the inside, matches with the paint outside. Um, looks really good. Really, really, really good. Let's go here, take a look from the outside. The carbon fiber everywhere in the hood and the trunk, all that good stuff. That huge, huge, crazy spoiler back end down there. And the wheels are pretty deep dish, so they sound, they look pretty good on the wheels. Let's take it out for a spin here. Let's go here to the 
half a mile, see what it does, then we'll take it out to the quarter mile. And then after the quarter mile, we'll do a, a drag strip event there, kind of see what it does. So let's get these tires hot real quick, reverse and forward burnouts. Make sure that all the cars we always bring out kind of do a reverse and forward burnouts, especially when they're ripping Let's get these things hot. Alrighty. So let's line it up here. It's going to be e-brake, gas, and clutch. When you press the e-brake and gas, the RPM needle is going to shoot up. Once you see it shoot up, then you press down the clutch. Just like that. As you can see, 44 pounds of boost, 4,500 on the RPMs. Now, if you tap on the clutch and then hold it a little bit more there, you got a little bit higher. But 44 pounds of boost coming out of the line there at 586 on that torque. All you got to do is let go of the clutch and e-brake. There you go, if it spins, because the tires got right back to the cold. Uh, but yeah, got it right there, really nice. Backfires every single time you shift it. Hold on to that fourth gear, and you'll do a 200 mile per hour pass with it. Um, I mean, remember that guys, this car is not designed for drag racing. This car is mainly designed for the circuit. That's why it is designed the way it is. <laughs> um, so yeah, the trash speeds, I wouldn't expect it crazy even with 1200 horsepower but it is just an incredible vehicle you can do anything you want with it of course that's why we've got play here in forza horizon you can pretty much do anything you can put any tires you want do what you want with the car e-brake gas clutch that's good there's that back end slants and then raises up and it just takes off really nice as you can see, 200 miles per hour in the half a mile. Let's uh, go here to the quarter mile, which is this, uh, this pole right over here. Let's get these tires on real quick, see if we get a good pass. If not, remember you guys, what you guys can do is go to five clicks towards speed on that first gear. And then that will uh, make the car grip even more. Let's go over here. A little bit higher. E-brake, gas, clutch. Tap on the clutch there. Let go of those two. There you go. Still trying to spin on me. Because uh, I have that first gear really, really short. It does normally about a 175, 173 between the scenario. 175 is a good number for it. Um, man, really, really honestly just want this car. I want to probably get about a couple. There you go. Grip really nice. Get a couple of them just so I can cruise with. I make a circuit tune for one. One for the highway. At 175 there, trap speed. All in all, you guys gotta get this car to get it. Remember, go to the festival. You gotta do the 20 points there to get it. I did all these races here. So I did this one, all the ones that are on yellow. I did them. And then I came over here and I did one of these. Uh, you get one of these. I think it was um, spent ten thousand dollars at the um at the uh festival event or the this thing right over here that we got now the new test track the new test track you can actually go outside weather is really good on the test track also the test track you can drive all the way to the um, drag strip here and in here you can actually put parts of the car by yourself and actually drag race um here and you know you have no traffic nobody bothering you it's pretty pretty cool the test track really works out really good uh, weather is always good so if you guys see if it's raining make sure to go to the test track do a build you can do a build on the fly you can change any parts you want on the fly and also you can tune the car on the fly so really really cool neat 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 thing they should have had this as the beginning of the game but here we got it guys so that's the test track there for you guys so that's that. Let's go over here. Let's do a pass in the drag strip events. That'll sum up the video. Hopefully, all you guys have this car. Do about 20 points to get it. Um, I'm gonna probably snipe some more in the auction house for whoever does not want one. <laughs> Please just share it out to me because I definitely want more than just one. Let's go over here to the festival. Let's start it up and let's go Black Series. Black, black. I think it's honestly probably going to be the last. This is the last one. I believe this is the, exactly the last two-door GT was the Black Series. 
they're no longer making the two-door GTs. They're making the four-door GTs. Um, and they're going to make, um, they're already making those actually 63s and 63Ss. The 63S is going to have like around like 630 horsepower. They're also coming out with a 63S hybrid edition that has like 840 horsepower. They're also coming out with a uh, S class that's going to be an S63 with a hybrid engine. Uh, pretty much electric. They got these electric powered engine that gives it like another boost of 200 more horsepower, making it around 800. So, really, really cool. Mercedes coming out with some really cool stuff. Let's go here, start it up, full gas it, see what it does. Alright, so it looked like that first gear, uh, first gear spun on me. So, what I'll probably have to do is let go of the gas and hit the gas um, so it can rip or short shift that first gear. Maybe go all the way to fifth gear. Just look at the, the design of this car. It just looks so Alrighty, so we did uh, right underneath the 15. We did a 14 on a half a mile. Um, so not bad, not bad at all. And uh, let's do one, one more pass, and that'll sum up the video, man. Hope you guys like this car. Hope you guys have one of these um, for whatever re you know, whatever design you guys want. If you guys like to drift with it, whatever you know, just hope you guys have it. It's a really, really nice car. A lot of people requested it, asked for it, begging for it. Finally got it. Fifth gear. This one I short shifted. I went from first to second really quick, so I bogged second. Did same exact number, so that's fine. So yeah, guys, that sums up the video. Hope you guys like it. Subscribe, enjoy, and I'll see all you guys around with another drag tune video. Peace out, everybody. Bye bye now.